Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today is part two of the go-kart video. Alright, today we had a new design because, you know, our last design was not that good. So we decided to redesign the entire thing with the same kind of, you know, concept. The first main change that we made is that instead of mounting it from up here on these iron rail or rails, I guess, we mounted it down here. And as you can see, it's not fully attached, but we also attached it with zip ties. So now it's pretty much not going anywhere and you can't even pull it out, even if you wanted to. We also added an iron sight so you're able to sort of aim the gun. So that's kind of cool. And another thing we noticed is that with the old design, since it was upside down, the bullets, which were fed by a wind-up magazine, weren't feeding up into the gun, since the bullets need to be down here and not up here. So we fixed one of those flaws, and now it's right side up. And we're still able to swivel, and we made this thing a heck of a lot thicker. That way it actually doesn't break this time. So I think it should work. All right, so we gotta mount this sucker. It's a heck of a lot stronger and thicker. If you want to make your own mounts like I did, I'm going to post the files and a link in the description so that you guys can mount it wherever you want. So, this is the full, this is the full package. Oh yeah. We also should just wrap it in duct tape, not gonna lie. Oh, that is perfect, brother. Dang. That looks kind of nice. That right, would look kind of cool. Let's, let me just get my phone. I can, I can get this angle. Look, look at the angle of this. Like, you just get a look in that iron sights, and you. You're, that man is cooked. That man's about to be cooked. Alright. So we're gonna get ready to do like a mini airsoft war just to see who wins. Uh, so I got this. So you can't let me borrow this. So I, it's a full bulletproof vest, which will be kind of useful, I guess. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. So. All right.
that right there, that's the result of our carnage. And, and that. And that. What? Is it like we did we hardly like we fixed it to one spot and put it on the front of the motorcycle and how little button you just press it just That would be nice. You just drive around and press a button and as it just stands across it. That would be kind of fire. What we should do is we no, we should simply put it on the motorcycle and then we should drive it around like the actual road. Oh we can pull it over for sure. No, that's all right, so now we're gonna just go, uh, we're gonna switch positions. So me and Nune are gonna be inside the uh, the horse shed. So I'm honestly kind of scared of what the thing can do. Not gonna lie, especially when the other kids are riding it. So hopefully they don't break it because I have a theory that they will, but we'll see, let's just go. W welcome to hell. All right. I like you today. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. Glasses on. Chupla. Oh crap. Oh. Bro, the scope don't even work. Okay, I'm gonna go out here. No, it, it was getting blocked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, I, I got I got right here. Oh. Crap, here come. Gosh. Wait, did I just get you? Sorry, <laughs> That's the end of the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also share this video with someone you think might like it. Because I'm just a dumb teenager, I don't really get that much subscribers, so, you know, just help a brother out, you know? <laughs> and also, yeah, spam the comment section with R.I.P. Caleb, because, yeah, I kind of did feel bad for shooting him in the face with a 400 FPS sniper rifle. But anyways, catch you at the next one. See ya.